praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Most High, hallelujah. Praise the one who sits far above the heavens, amen, amen. And this is the day the Most High, our Lord has made, and we, the children of the Most High, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it, amen, amen. First of all, I just want to say a very big thank you to all those who subscribe to this channel, to all everyone who subscribe to this channel. I just want to say a very big thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, continue to like, share, and comment. And if you're new to this channel, you come across any of my video, please support this channel by by subscribing and do not forget to click the notification button so each time I upload a new video you will be notified please pardon me I said in my previous video I have cold you know but I'm getting better and I want to really really appreciate those who supported me right now I'm in a different state I'm in the southern part of Nigeria I live in the west I had to fly down I flew down um, two days ago the 1st of December for ministration to for, to evangelize in different um, towns and villages in this state I am only moved when the Lord asked me to move and I just want to say a very big thank you for those brothers and sisters that supported me um, to push the work of the Most High forward I needed a speaker and I just want to say a very big thank you i took a bold step of faith and uh, faith and i went to the shop to buy a new brand new speaker i would have loved to i'm going to take a picture and i'm going to show you i got a very good speaker like no i've never had this type of speaker never in my life i got a very my dream speaker um getting a new speaker always make me happy because it makes me gives me joy when i go out to evangelize it makes me happy it gives me this kind of undescribable undescribable <laughs> indescribable undescribable feeling when i see people turning to king jesus christ of nazareth he gives me this kind of joy that i cannot comprehend i cannot explain so this speaker is as if i bought a new big you know house or a big car um i just want to say very very big thank you i want to let you know that i got a very good speaker the microphones i find the rest the reception is so so good so i am lifting you up in prayer those who contributed for me to buy this new speaker brother kelvin uh, brother paul sister mary um to everyone sister maria i just want to say a very very big thank you and yeah i'm so happy and i'm about and i will making jesus christ proud and i will not disappoint the my brethren my brethren in king jesus christ of nazareth so thank you yesiah the christ so thank you for supporting me and uh, don't mind me i really don't know how to talk very well but the lord still decided in his infinite mercy to choose to to, to to, to, to pick me out of the street he chose me and I want to say a prayer for those who I'm not offended I'm growing a thicker skin I just want to pray an open prayer to those who come to insult me because I try to make peace between two sisters if you see two sisters or three sisters who two sisters who are against one so if the, the most beautiful thing is that the Lord sees the hearts of everyone, okay? He, he knows it all. And if you have a problem of me trying to speak up, stand up for a sister and try to re rebuke those who are going wrong openly, if you see a problem with that, then I pray that the Most High forgive you. For those who come to my comment section to say all manner of things that using the name of the most high to lie i pray that the lord forgive you and i pray that you repent in the name of king jesus christ of nazareth i pray amen i refuse to hate 
I refuse to let the spirit of jealousy inside of me. If anybody wants to steal or anything, the Lord is going to deal with them. All I am praying for is that people should repent. In as much as I pray for me to be found worthy in the sight of the Most High, I don't pray for anyone to go to hell. Because while I was still out there, deep in sin, the Lord didn't condemn me. Rather, King Jesus Christ of Nazareth was praying for me. He was interceding for me. His mercy prevailed. He didn't condemn me in my sinful way. He didn't give up on me. He didn't let me die. So why should I condemn anybody? Why would I want anybody to go to hell? When I really, I deserved to go to hell. But the Lord in his infinite mercy saved me, of which I will forever be grateful. Amen. Amen. Please pardon me. Give me some time. Hallelujah. Please pardon me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My voice is a little bit cracked because I've been ministering and I want to, um, I want everyone, I know um, a sister has prayed for me um, about a witness. I have, I like to say it open because I've been praying to, for the Lord to take it away uh, because it makes no sense. I have to open up. I know he has forgiven me. Uh, <clears throat> when I have I have an issue that when things are not when people behave in a certain way I don't like, especially for example, I go to the bank and I want to get my money, my own money, my rights, and they don't give me like yesterday i went to the bank i wanted to get some money um to i didn't even have money in my hand to eat and i wanted to withdraw money a sister sent me money for my upkeeping because of you know we discussed and i needed some cash because of the trip and all that so she sent me the money and i wanted to to it was in dollars and they the bank just told me they don't have any money to give me they don't have foreign currency and me standing in the bank i didn't have a time and the other transaction i've been doing in my naira account they keep debiting me and i have to pay twice maybe if i go to the supermarket to buy something um, and I use my card to pay for the stuff. They will debit me and they will not credit the, the, the people or maybe the supermarket or so. I ended up paying twice. Sometimes I pay twice and they still debit me without um, crediting the, 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 the other party. And so my money is ha hanging up till date. So yesterday I was so angry and I was on top of my voice. I was so angry. I was, I was literally shouting in the bank because I'm in a place where I've not been for about nine or 10 years. And I cannot, I don't know how to, to even pay transport back home. So I know this video has taken almost 10, 10 minutes, please. We're fellowshipping together, so I know I misbehaved. As a representative of Christ, as an evangelist, I should have been more calm. I ask for mercy of the Lord, and I open up sincerely for brothers and sisters to pray for mercy for me. I don't want to act like that anymore. I have done that several other times. And the thing is that immediately I act like that, I feel guilty, I feel bad. I feel really, really bad, you know, so please pray for me in that aspect. As I pray for 
other people. I know the most I has forgiven me, but I want to tell the body of Christ, those who are truly uh, born again, I know we have intercessors here, pray for me. Every other thing, I am fine. I'm praying. So I just want to make this clear. Before I share the, the vision, the Lord showed me um, this afternoon, on the 3rd of December 2022. In this vision, I had, I was somewhere, <laughs> still distraction. Still someone was trying to distract me. Someone was trying seriously to distract me or I'm being distracted Just like the previous vision I had this vision is about the second Exodus the regarding of the people of the Most High I had this very powerful Vision it was shot. I found myself somewhere and I was being distracted and somebody was trying to distract me so somehow i don't know i can't remember i found myself in this boat again it's massive it's a very very massive boat so i found myself inside this boat a lot of people the boat was packed this boat was packed and we were on a journey on a long journey and as we were moving in this boat we got to a particular point and the boat the water the wave was so strong the water became very troubled when i mean troubled the wave was so it was so as if the boat was going like this because there were a lot of people it was going sideways as if it's going to capsize and this thing went on for some time for some time for a long period of time and as it was happening the wave is it was as if this boat you know i call it boat because it's it's so massive let me call it a boat a ship or boat so but at the in the midst of this storm the storm was so 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 high it was really bad I will use the word so um, people I heard people in this boat were crying they were praying they were praying people were just praying in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth people were praying a lot of people were scared they were the prayers were going on you know in sadness and I was sitting on one corner hallelujah 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 I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me Lord, I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. Take all of me, Lord. Hallelujah. You know why I sing that song? Many of you will not understand. I pray that the most I make you to know who you are in Him, your assignment. So in this vision, as the people were crying, the storm was so high. And I noticed that I was just sitting in one corner. I wasn't recognized in the realm of the spirit in this boat. And I got up and I said to the storm, and I said to everyone, and I spoke to the storm, peace be still. I said it with authority I said peace I just kept on saying to the wind and at this point in time the realm of the spirit I remembered how the disciple were in the boat and Jesus was sleeping and when the storm was so much Jesus said he spoke to the wind and the wind obeyed his voice i remember that scripture and i said peace be still because at that point in time i know who i am i said 
I know who I am. I am a daughter of the Most High, and greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. If I am a true, if I'm true a child, if I'm a true child of God, I know that if I say to this to this storm, and because I have confidence, I have confidence in the Lord. This video is not about me. I'm coming. I'll make it clear. I'll break it down to you. It's not all about me. But I just want to, I am happy. And I, I am so humble that I am privileged to make my way right back with the Most High. Because he has job. He has so much for me to do in, his, in, in the life of his children. And I said, peace be still. And the wind, the wave, didn't drown the sea. We made it. We made it. The, 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 the boat became steady and we made it to where we're going. It was, it, we didn't drown. We didn't capsize. Nobody lost their life. And when I woke up, as I woke up from this um, vision, I had in my spirit an antetica, right? Is that the right pronunciation? Excuse me. Antarctica. I had the word antarctica. Antarctica. I kept on hearing. Then I said, wait a minute, Antarctica, is that where we're going? Yes, we're going to pass through a rough sea. I don't have an idea of a place called Antarctica. I'm telling the truth. I do not have a clue. I know Prophetess Kerrihan mentioned a place called Antarctica in one of her videos. I cannot really remember everything she said, but if I said I didn't hear that word, I lied. I heard the word Antarctica. And when I woke up, I kept on hearing Antarctica. I don't know what that place is. I don't know up till now as I speak. I don't even know the region, the a place, the side of the world that place is. But I think this, the wilderness events, it has to do with around that area. So now, I want to say something. So this is the, vis the vision I had on the 3rd of December, 2022. I got up with this. Now listen carefully. Please share the video. I want to tell you something. For those of you are, that are believing the Most High, for you to make it into the wilderness, being male or female, you need to be vigilant. You need to be watchful. You need to repent. Because if you're living with a man that you're not married to, if you're living with a woman that you're not married to, that is not, is an unbeliever, that it's, if you're in a, an, a, in a relationship that does not glorify God, a lot of people are going to be, are going to miss this second exodus, the gathering of the, of the, of the Hebrews, Israelite. The gathering of the people. Let me tell you something. Before now, I had no clue about the second exodus. But can I tell you something? I have been having a lot. I'm not kidding. So many visions. Before I even started ministration online and, you know, on the street. And when I rededicated my life to, to the Most High, King Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah the Christ. I have been, I must tell the truth, I have been having dreams where I haven't shared, where I see people gathering in a boat. I have seen it several times, but I just didn't understand and I didn't bother to ask the Holy Spirit. I was thinking it's just an ordinary dream, ordinary, you know, but now it's done on me that the Lord has been showing me since that there will be another gathering of his, of his people into the will. And most of these vision, dreams, revelation I've had concerning, sorry, the gathering of his people, the second exodus, 
we are always in a boat and we boat and we are always going to a bush like you know forest like places so but you need to see run to jesus christ of nazareth don't think you will live in your sin and the lord is going to take you and in the boat when you peradventure you made it to the glory of god you made it into that into the ship into the safety ship into the to to where into the gathering please have have faith have serious faith we are going to go through some some storms this i have seen we're going to go through some storms don't curse god don't regret don't say oh i would have stayed back all you need to do is that have faith have confidence in the lord so if you're under the sound of my voice you come across this video you truly want to make it into the wilderness please repent repent from sexual immorality repent god hates sin see repent you cannot be having sex yes sorry for using um you cannot be having hanky panky and you think that the sheep comes and the angels in 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 a it, and they will take you when it is sin except you're with your spouse your husbands and your wives that's not all anything you know that does not glorify the most high anything you know that god hates drop it now drop it now run to king jesus christ of nazareth make peace now and be vigilant be watchful be prayerful pray for mercy love if you have things to give to people if you have clothes not the ones you've condemned not the ones you cannot wear still presentable things give it out visit the motherless babies visit the poor visit the less privileged visit people the widows do good do good because each man work is going to be tried the lord is going to judge according to your work too go out there and tell somebody about jesus pray to the most high to give your right calling your calling might not just be my, your calling might not be in the prophetic line or vision or dreams or whatever your 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 your, your calling might be on it on maybe giver or support ministry or pray to god pray to the most high to show you who you are in him and make use of your gift go out and do good do good in the name of Yesiah the Christ in the name of King Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. I will see you in my next video if the Lord's willing. But remember before you go, for without holiness, for without righteousness of which no man can see God. For it is appointed for a man. <coughs> Excuse me. For it is appointed for a man to die once. Afterwards, his judgment. The Most High bless you. If you have not given your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. Neither is there salvation in any other. No other name can save except the name of King Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, I am the Christ. The Lord bless you. Please share this video. Bless you. See you soon. And I love you all.